Hey, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Laura Trump Wanted for Questioning. This is the maiden voyage, the maiden episode of 2024. This is our first one. It's a big year. We've got a lot going on. So let me see what kind of questions you got today. Here we go. <clears throat> Question number one, why not protect the border? What do we gain ignoring the problem of hundreds of thousands coming in with our towns and cities unprepared? I'm going to uh, go ahead and correct you there. It's millions. We've got millions of people pouring over our southern border. We have literally no idea who most of these people are. They will never show up to a day in court. They will never be seen again. They are being sent out across the country. They're being given bus tickets, plane tickets. Uh, we know if you're in New York City and you decide as an illegal immigrant there, I just want to fly literally anywhere in the world. They'll buy you a plane ticket there, anywhere you want to go. Monaco, uh, Japan, you name it, they're sending you there. It's pretty amazing to see what's happening. Why isn't that the question of our lifetime? Why on earth would you want to do something like this unless you were hell bent on destroying America. And I have to believe at this point that that is what is going on with a lot of these Democrats. These people hate our country. Let's face it, they're trying to teach our children to hate this country. We know if you look at the curriculum in schools over the past like 10 years or so, that is certainly part of it. It's teaching people to hate America, not love America. That is certainly part of what's going on. And heck, while they're at it, if you let millions of undocumented people in this country and you promise them things like cell phones and the ability to live here unscathed with no issues whatsoever. And oh, by the way, ooh, we're gonna revoke any identification necessary when you go to vote in a presidential election. I don't know. I guess the Democrats are banking on these people voting for them because the truth is the rest of us around the country have seen what they are doing and we don't like it. That is why you look at the polling right now between Donald Trump and Joe Biden and a vast majority of people all across the country even in the swing states, even in states that Joe Biden handily won in 2020, and I use one with air quotes around it, um, Donald Trump beats them all day long because people see that they are doing things that are bad for America. They are doing things that are bad for your wallet, bad for your 401k, bad for the future of this country, and people are not buying it anymore. So they need to get voters in. And I guess they're banking on all these millions of people going to the polls with no ID necessary and voting in perpetuity for Democrats. That's the only guess I have because outside of that, I don't know why the hell you would want an open border. It is a, a, a cesspool of a situation down there. It is a disaster on all fronts. Look at the fentanyl coming into this country, killing 100,000 Americans a year. Look at just the, the child trafficking and human trafficking that is occurring via our southern border. It is an absolute disgrace to see, let alone the people coming in here who want to hurt us. Terrorists. How many people have we caught on the terror watch list? Um, 169 in just the last fiscal year. 169 caught. How about the ones that got away? So there are so many issues. And the only thing I can think is these people hate this country. They want to destroy America. And they're counting on these folks voting for them. Although these people too probably don't want to see a country they just got to totally destroy. We'll see what happens. Okay, next question. <clears throat> oh, next question. Why do you think your opinion matters? Well, I think everyone's opinion matters. I think that everybody as uh, stated in the United States Constitution has our First Amendment freedom of speech, our right to voice, our thoughts, our opinions, our views on things. I think that's what makes this country so great is that I think about things in a certain way. You might think about things in just about the same way, but not exactly. You might have a little spin on things. Look, my husband and I, I know it's shocking to married couples out there. We don't agree on everything. We have slightly different views on a lot of things. And I think that's what makes it so interesting. That's what makes life interesting. If you, sir or ma'am, are not interested in my opinion, you don't need to watch this show. There are people who apparently are very interested and they like hearing what I have to say. 
So I'm going to continue saying it. I'm going to continue saying what I think and speaking freely and speaking openly because that is my right as a citizen of this great country to do it. So you have a right not to listen if you don't want to, but you cannot stifle my right to be able to say it. So thank you so much for that very nice question. Appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. Is New Year's Eve the best Mar-a-Lago party? Love the dress. Thank you. Let me just take a moment. My dress, New Year's Eve. Very different, very interesting, very scandalous for some people. I got a bunch of Google alerts about how I got slammed for wearing this dress. Let me tell you, um, my friend Oscar Lopez is an incredible designer. He works out of Coral Gables down near Miami. Um, he's been designing dresses for me for years. And every New Year's Eve, he always designs me a beautiful, spectacular, over-the-top dress. And this year, he and I collabed on this one. And I was like, hey, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's do something a little different. Let's do something that, like, no one expects. And there's been this kind of trend I've seen out there. It's like the no-pants-pants pants situation where people wear, like, it's like a purposeful type of thing where you wear, you know, an undergarment that's visible, but then you have something on top of it. And I said, let's do something in that vein. And that's what we did. And if you notice... Everything was encrusted in jewels and very, I thought, very tasteful. It's not for everyone. And I realized that. And I'm not asking anybody to do this. I felt great about it. I absolutely loved that dress. It was spectacular in every way possible. And I thank my good friend Oscar for designing it and making it for me. It was wonderful. Um, but if you didn't like it, then you don't have to wear one like that, honey. You can do whatever suits your body because I'm sure you wouldn't be wearing one of these. Anyhow, that said, yes, um, the Mar-a-Lago New Year's Eve party is pretty epic. You know, every year we have performers show up and they don't tell you who they are ahead of time this year. We got Vanilla Ice. We got Chubby Checker at uh, The Twist. I don't even know how old Chubby Checker is. This guy's probably 125 years old. He looks incredible. Was literally out on the dance floor doing The Twist with everybody. Fantastic stuff. Vanilla Ice, forget it. Ice Ice Baby, Ninja Rap. Like, what do you want from us? We're doing everything super cool at Mar-a-Lago, and I loved it. Um, it is a great time. Like, 700 people there. Of course, the greatest president in the history of the country there. My father-in-law, Donald Trump, was there with my husband. Uh, we had a great group of friends. We had an awesome time, although I started feeling a little under the weather leading into that, and then I got sick on the other side of it, probably like a lot of people uh, right around this time of year. There's everything going around, but, um, but we had an awesome time. So New Year's Eve party at Mar-a-Lago, yeah, certainly the, the place to be and certainly like the one of the entire year to go to. We had an awesome time. Thank you. Okay. Next question. Would you ever consider singing with a band? Why not? I've considered crazier stuff like just singing in general. Why not with a band? Totally. I'm down for it. Look, here's the thing. We get one chance to do this this thing called life. Like we get one shot at this and I don't ever want to look back on my life and be like, should have tried that. But I felt like somebody might think something about it or it wasn't what, no, I'm not doing that. I want to do things that excite me, that I find a little scary, that uh, challenge me in some way. And so, you know what? I decided to record a cover song and there will be more to come. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Would I sing with a band? Why not? That sounds freaking awesome. Let me know where we're going to do that, how that's working out. Um, I would never say no to anything because I'll tell you what, um, you could never have told me, you know, 20 years ago that right now I'd be living in Florida, that I would have been a part of the first family, the United States of America, that I would have three dogs, two kids, and like literally love every second of all of it. Um, Life is crazy and we got to embrace it. We got to do crazy stuff. So yeah, let me know when I'm singing with a band. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> last question. When can I get my nails done by Miss Carolina? By the way, in case you don't know, my daughter fancies herself a little bit of a nail technician. 
And um, oftentimes she wants to paint my nails or my friend's nails who come over to the house. The problem with this is she's four. God bless. She's four. There's, there's nail polish all over my nails. It's all over the place. I do let her, if I know I have a nail appointment coming up soon, I do let her go ahead and do a little manicure. Or sometimes I get her, I don't even know what the nail polish is. It's some kid's nail polish that like peels off after like it dries 10 minutes later. And then like, oh, I don't know what happened. I washed my hands, it came off. Um, she does love it. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll start getting her uh, appointment set up. Maybe we can, uh, we can work that out. Because now all of my friends are like, oh, when I come over, is Carolina going to do my nails? It's a very fun thing. She loves it. And you know what? I'm here for that. It's what it's what it's all about. Let them be kids. Let them do stuff like paint nails. You know, that's you know, we only get one chance of that, too, for them to be young and do fun, cute stuff like that. I love it. Um, so, yeah, you can wait. Hold your breath on the, the nail appointments with Carolina. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll report back. All right, that's going to do it for us here at Laura Trump. What did for questioning? Thank you for the questions today. Send more in. Post under this episode. Go to any of our social media and you can post there. We will see them. We will get back to you. So until next time, we'll see you back here for more of Laura Trump. What did for questioning? Nothing is worse than being on a phone call that drops. Nothing is worse than trying to text someone and you can't reach them because your phone is out of service range. And nothing is worse than supporting these major corporations and companies who don't support us. That is why I love Patriot Mobile. They are America's only Christian conservative wireless network. They use every cell tower out there available to all networks so that they have the greatest 4G and 5G coverage nationwide, and they support the causes that are important to us as conservatives. If you go today to patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump and use the promo code Trump, you will get free activation today. Again, that is patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump. The promo code is Trump for free activation so that you can get a great cell plan and feel good about doing it. So I'm like a lot of people. I love to wear an Apple Watch, but I hate how it looks. And I scoured the internet to search for the best looking Apple Watch cases I could find, and I found it. Goldandcherry.com. They have absolutely beautiful watches, as you can see here. Everything is waterproof. Everything looks good with different outfits. You can get sporty, you can get fancy, but they are great quality, uh, made out of Delaware in the United States of America. And they have been kind enough to give me a promo code that I can share with you if you wanna get your hands on one of these as well. It's Lara T, L-A-R-A-T is the promo code to get yourself a discount at goldandcherry.com. And not only do they make Apple Watch cases, they also make great products for iPads and iPhones, keyboards, your desktop, everything you could possibly need. Goldandcherry.com. Use promo code LARAT so you can get yourself one of these today too. At The Right View, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we are independent. We get to say Everything that we think and everything that we feel, we have no woke companies guiding us or telling us what we can and cannot say. We are always gonna shoot you straight and give you the facts as we know them. And that's why it's important to support independent uh, outlets like The Right View. My name is Lara Trump and I think Mike Lindell is a patriot. He is someone who loves this country, is willing to fight for this country. Um, I love my pillow because not only are my pillows made in the USA by American workers, uh, but they're great products and they're so great that not only do I use them in my own bed at night, my children actually requested, my daughter the other day went to the closet and pulled out a my pillow and said this is the pillow that i want to sleep with and i gotta tell you she loves it and will have nothing to do with any other pillow so it's a big hit around our house my dogs also uh happen to sleep on my pillow dog beds so all around the trump household we're big fans if you go to mypillow.com today and use promo code trump again promo code trump 
you will not only save money, but you will help us continue this show and other shows like it and help us continue the fight for the future of America. Inflation has impacted all of our lives. I don't think anyone can go to the gas pump or the grocery store without noticing that it is a major factor. And unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't seem like it's going down in the way that we would like it to. And one way to protect your money is by investing in precious metals, uh, gold and silver. That's always been a great way to make sure that you keep your money and you keep it safe. When you go to bh-pm.com, use promo code TRUMP. That way, if you decide you want to invest in gold and silver, you'll save yourself a little bit of money. We live in a time that's very interesting. Uh, a lot of us out there feel like a lot of our rights are slipping away. And if you're like I am and you want to have the right to choose whether or not to have a vaccine, how to live your life freely, and you're looking for a great doctor, I've heard amazing things about Dr. Sherwood. He's somebody who you should really check out and check into, um, and it'll help support this program and keep us going. So go to Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. Again, Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. You can save yourself some money and help us keep our program going.